someone who's, who is humble, you don't boast. Boasting should not be part of who you are. When you are humble, you, you keep yourself in a manner that when God looks at you, he will be proud. And when the enemy wants to look for something against you, they will not see anything. When it comes to the aspect of being, uh, when you come to that sort of carrying yourself with humility. I don't know who is listening to me this, this uh, period. Are you humble? Do you clothe yourself with humility? Do you see people before yourself or you see or you see yourself before people? Are you the only thing that concerns you? Do you show off? Do you show off with your jewelries, with your clothing? Maybe you want to put on a dress. You first of all say, oh, what will people think? Rather than what will God think? We are faced with different sorts of temptations this day and age, which is of course the end time. Whatever you are faced with, try to put yourself in the position of, will God be proud of me? You know, in Mount, in Sermon on the Mount, this just says, it says the totality of who a Christian should be. I decided to start the series because it's it's not what I can cover in a jiffy. It's not what I can cover once and for all. The summer in the Mount is found in the uh, uh, Gospel of Matthew. And it's basically pointing to the uh, pointing in the direction of the Ten Commandments. It's, it's a, a kind of different version of the Ten Commandments that was given by Moses. He said, Jesus, uh, Jesus gives the Beatitudes in a positive spirit, listing the values in life which will lead to spiritual uh, uh, prosperity and salvation. And one of the things as a Christian, what we want to do is follow in the footstep of the Most High King, the one who came and laid his life for us. We ought to see and know the real meaning, the, the significant meaning of being poor in the spirit. Understanding that in all, humility is a great blessing. It's a blessing that originates from the love of God. Humility brings openness and inner peace, enabling one to do the will of God. Those who humble themselves are able to admit our fragile nature, to repent immediately. Because when you have the love of God in your heart, when you are humble, when you have to um, see yourself as a property of God in every manner, you will, you will rather come down before God. You will rather come down before God and let Him take all the glory. You know, one of the things that made Satan to, that made Lucifer to depart from heaven was him clothing himself, carrying himself as the all in all when he should be giving all the glory to the Most High King. I pray in the name of Jesus that we will begin to clothe ourselves in a manner that will only please God. We will not look at people in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, help us to live and walk in Christ in like manner. Let us not carry ourselves. Let us not exalt ourselves before anything, but rather exalt you in all that we do in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, help us to live a life that you will see or you will look at us and be proud of us, just like in the days of Job. Heavenly Father, we bless and magnify your name take control over our lives take control over all that concerns us help us to watch our ways help us to watch our tongues whatever we speak oh lord let it glorify your name in the name of jesus we cover these prayers with the blood of jesus we cover the prayers with the blood of jesus thank you heavenly father in jesus name we pray amen stay blessed god bless you